All right, today we're gonna to take a quick look at the Insta360 X3 camera. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but the look and feel of this camera is very nice and the build quality feels very premium. It's textured and rubberized along the edge here. And the plastic feels nice and smooth. It's like a premium feel to it. And because of the vertical form factor, the screen is a lot bigger now. It's 2.3 inches. And guys, this screen, I love using it during the day and just framing my shots. Because of the large touchscreen, it has to be one of my favorite Insta360 camera. There's not a lot of buttons on this camera and I like that about it. Most of the function is through the touchscreen. But the buttons that they do have are very large and they have a nice tactile feel to them. I can get almost about an hour and 30 minutes worth of footage, which to me is a lot of footage, especially for one day of shooting on the 360 camera. If you need more than that, obviously you can just swap out the battery. And if you want to take this camera to your pool or a water park, you can because this camera is waterproof up to 33 feet with no case or anything. You can just take the camera just like this. There's so much to like about this camera. I'm not going to go over all of it in this video, but I will go over some accessories that I personally use and that could help you. Now, if you get the Insta360 X3 camera, do not get it without the invisible selfie stick. This camera doesn't really do well without the invisible selfie stick. This thing is going to work magic for this camera. Just like in its name, the invisible selfie stick disappears in the footage. And because the X3 has a quarter inch thread here, you can just connect it to your invisible selfie stick. And the invisible selfie stick can extend to almost four feet. So as you're walking and you're filming, the invisible selfie stick would disappear from the footage. This is going to take your video to a whole nother level. And people are always going to ask you, how are you doing that? Now I like to pair my invisible selfie stick with some tripod legs so that way I can set it on the ground without holding it all the time. Do remember that this is a 360 camera so there's a lens on both sides so you really can't set it down anywhere. So I use this Insta360 tripod leg. I like this one because it doesn't pinch whenever I'm closing it and it has rubber grip here at the bottom of the feet. Not only that but the feet can also extend if you need extra reach or you need more stability like if it's a windy day. And it's just simple to close. This one just connects to the bottom of your selfie stick. And now you have an invisible selfie stick tripod. Just like that. Another cool accessory is the bullet time tripod. Now Insta360 does have a bundle with this invisible selfie stick and the bullet time included. That's something you definitely want to check out. And the bullet time really gives the footage a nice cool look. That's going to let people see what your surroundings look like in a 360 helicopter type of view. Another must have accessory for my X3 is the silicone lens cap. It's important to note that this silicone lens cap is not provided inside of the box. As you guys are aware, the Insta360 camera has a lens on each side. There's really no way to place it anywhere. And so to prevent my lens from scratching or falling over and breaking, I get the lens cap to cover it every time I'm not using it. So now I can set it on the table or set it down without having to worry about scratching my lens. And if you're thinking of taking this to the beach or the ocean, you definitely want to get the dive case for this. The dive case will allow for you to go down up to 50 meters, which is 164 feet down in the water. Now this is what the dive case looks like and it's very easy and simple to use. You just open it up by unlatching the latches here on the side. It comes right off. Put the camera inside, put the lid on the case, and then just latch it back up. And that's it. All your control buttons are up here. If you want to turn it on and off or press the record button, there's also some buttons here on the side that can control the camera as well. And guys, those are my must-have accessories and a quick look and review of the Insta360 X3. Thank you all for watching.